Prior to the pandemic, Run to Feed the Hungry was drawing nearly 30,000 attendees, the largest Thanksgiving Day fun run in the country, bringing in a million dollars for the Sacramento Food Bank and Family Services. But it's going virtual in 2020 to comply with social distancing restrictions. When we found out this year that it wasn't happening, we were heartbroken. And then we started thinking we could do one right here in the in the pocket for pocket people. We could do our own walk. Just like that, Rich Fowler's disappointment turned into a call to action for our walk. And the walk to feed the hungry was born. It's a three mile real live walk, but we're doing everything that we can to make sure that it's safe. A COVID safe Thanksgiving event right here along the greenway that runs all the way north to south through the pocket area of Sacramento. Even here in the pocket, there's hunger. There's hunger throughout Sacramento County. As Fowler often does for help, he turned to his pact pocket area churches together, four different congregations, all with the same mission. One of the ways that we show God's love to people is by making sure that they have the basic necessities and food is certainly one of those necessities. So the churches are trying to say, we care about our brothers and sisters. And this is one of the ways that we can do that. From eight in the morning until noon on Thanksgiving day, no official start, no official finish, masks are required, and just the guy to make sure it all goes as planned. We should be able to space everybody out. Uh, it's about a three mile course and people can get in at the very beginning where race head headquarters is, or they can join anytime along the whole parkway. Jim Gary has been in charge of security for just about every run to feed the hungry since it started 26 years ago. Other than the event going virtual, there's something else Gary has never seen in all those years. <laughs> oh, what is this about? Yes, four legged friends on the course. For the first time, dogs are allowed to register this year and Gary's sidekick Cody was the first to sign up. A welcome addition to a Sacramento tradition drastically changed, but marching forward with the best intentions. We are uh, enormously blessed and we obviously know that this doesn't exist in every neighborhood, so it's important that we share it.